Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to take a look at a pretty cool knife. This is the Winger Swiss Buck Tascamate 1 Swiss Army Knife. And the deal with this is this is a series of knives made by Winger and sort of in combination with, with Buck. And they were imported by Buck and as it says in the package, manufactured by Winger. And so what you get is you get a kind of a different, a little bit unusual version of a Swiss Army knife. So let's take a look. And I grabbed a copy. Well, I grabbed a copy. I grabbed a, this is the Winger Motorist that I desperately need to sit down and thoroughly clean. But it should have probably, oh, it doesn't have pliers. I was going to say, it should have almost everything we need to look at. And I don't have anything with the pliers within reach. But we'll, we'll look at the pliers when we get to them and see how they compare to the winger ones. So anyway, this is the Swiss Buck. And let's grab the documentation and take a look at that too while we're, while we're rummaging through here. Alright, so this is the Swiss Buck documentation with only moderate stains. Alright. So, if you're interested, you can take a look at this, the documentation, and any of it that looks exciting, I recommend you pause it so you can read it thoroughly. It gives you instructions on how to sharpen it, which is kind of cool. And the warranty, the buck knife stuff, and a questionnaire, I guess. Hmm. This is, yeah, I can get a questionnaire. That's kind of interesting. Well, anyway. Interesting to take a look at that. So, alright, let's take a look at this thing now. Now, the first thing that I obviously am noticing is the difference in the scales. There's no shield here, there's no shield like in the normal one. And you have the Buck logo, or it says Buck on it. You also have this little rough area here and here, which seems like it would make gripping the knife easier for when you're using the large blade. So no no scale tools, no tweezers, no toothpick. You have the longer chain, which is not unheard of on one of your knives, like so. And let's take a look at things. All right, the first thing is you have a small clip point blade and this differs from most of the traditional wingers where they would have a nail file and nail cleaner as opposed to the clip point blade now for the large blade it's definitely a different style. It's a large clip point blade uh, compared to the large blade on traditional wingers. Now these are both 85 millimeters so the blades are about the same. It's kind of funny you have the winger logo on the blades and it's just on sort of an odd looking blade. Mm -hmm. You have the traditional can opener, and it's pretty much the same as. Hmm, I actually need to clean this one. <laughs> That's pretty much the same. Actually, it's not the same. It's a little bigger. The Swiss Buck has a little bit bigger can opener. Hmm. Wonder why. It's kind of interesting, a little unexpected. I was sort of figured they'd be the same size. Unless maybe the motorist, unless maybe the winger. I'll have to look and see if winger changed their uh, can opener sizes at any point. You have the traditional bottle opener, screwdriver, wire stripper thing. 
Now, one thing I thought was really interesting about the Taskmate is you get a pair of pliers. And it's a really small knife to have pliers. Because you gotta figure, I mean, it's only a three layer knife. And you have the knife, you have the knife layer, and you have the the can opener, bottle opener layer, and you get pliers. It's not the smallest knife to have pliers, but it's probably the second smallest. Or it's at least a tie for the second smallest. The smallest being the special the Victorinox Special Mechanic or Mechanic Junior. And on the back, okay. On the back you get the awl, which is pretty much the same. Mm, pretty much identical. And you accidentally close the all on your chain. Like so. And you get a screwdriver. You get a Phillips head screwdriver. And that's pretty much the same. Hmm. It's an interesting little knife. I wasn't super excited about it when I saw it. But I'm a bit more impressed with this than I was expecting to be. I guess I guess what it is is I was sort of dismissing them because they were different and weird from the normal wingers. But I like the knife. It's really neat. And they're not super expensive. I mean, I'll include a link to the wiki uh, to the Swiss Army Knife wiki page for these. They're not super expensive though. They pop up on eBay every now and then. And I'm trying to remember when I saw them for the last time. Under fifty bucks. So maybe they're thirty or forty bucks. Which isn't really out of the ballpark for a knife a Swiss Army knife of this size new. And I mean this one came relatively new in box. Anyway, let me know what you think about the Swiss bucks. I'm definitely gonna have to check out the other ones. I'm 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 impressed. The knife blades are a little different. I mean, like the shapes are a little weird, but I don't, I don't, I don't hate them. I mean, they're different, I guess, but hmm, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope y'all have an excellent day.